guys what's happening so yesterday I made a video on my truck um, I went ahead and uh, used the dial indicator method to time my truck and everything went it was pretty easy to do I made a whole video on it well until I started it and the truck still ran like shit then I just said I'm not gonna make a video on it anymore um, so this is the problem I have a reman pump that is still a piece of shit so now and trust me I checked timing on that thing three goddamn times and I redid the timing at least twice if not three times and I checked fuel pressure to the air or from the air dog to the pump I had 30 psi which is pretty high but it's better to have more than none and when it was running you know you had to bleed the injector lines well when it was idling and it, all the air got bled out went ahead and cracked every line and it would start misfiring so I knew that every injector was working somewhat at least so right there it just leads back to the pump um, it sounds like absolute ass I mean you can't get over 1200 rpm I tried advancing the timing to 18 degrees I right now it's a stock timing it starts up and idles just fine I mean fastest starting 12 valve I've ever seen so what I got to do now is my buddy who was helping me yesterday my buddy's got a project 12 valve and he's like well man because I have this truck sold once the motherfucker runs so he said oh 13.5 is a good pocket to change so you can take my pump it's on, a, it's on a project truck anyway so it's not like he's driving the truck right now and he said you can take mine and put it on your truck and if it if everything works then that pumps junk and if it still doesn't work he goes I'm lost because I don't know what the hell it could be problem is that truck doesn't run it runs he has heard it run so we know that pump works but right now it does not run it's it's a project so it's sitting outside at his house and I mean like the good thing is is the radiators not in there the fans not in there the fan shroud all that stuff's not in there so it's a lot easier to get to but anyway that's where I'm heading right now and I woke up at like noon today so yeah late start but hopefully I'll we'll have this thing done by like six o'clock and hopefully this thing runs because if it does it is getting sold I was debating on keeping it but not anymore I should keep it with all the money I've got in it but I'm ready for something else something else is cheaper well, here we are at the shop. <clears throat> this is the old pump, the original pump. And here's the old Dodge. As you can see, there's the pump on it. Still doesn't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all my tools, go over to my buddy's house, take off his pump, come back here, and then I'll probably do a video on putting this back, taking this off, putting the other one back on, and timing it. Because the last video, there was no point in really doing it since it didn't work anyway. Well, here's the uh, new used pump that I just took off my buddy's truck. This is my old stock one. Um, took about an hour to get it off. It was a lot easier without a lot of stuff in the way. So now I'm just gonna take off my new one, I guess you could say. And hopefully it works. If it works, then um, this place is gonna get a call back on a refund. It says in their warranty disclaimer or whatever that they only accept. They'll give you another one or fix what's wrong with this one if it tests bad but 
I'm to the point that I've had this truck down for two weeks and got a lot of hours in it. So they can just refund my money. And if they don't want to, well, I'm just gonna cancel the card and then I'll get my money back. And then they'll be out a core pump and a, one of their new pumps. So let's go ahead and get started by taking everything apart. All right, guys, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take off the oil fill. Um, intake horn and the intercooler piping so we'll go ahead and take all that off it'll give us a lot of room and we'll do injector lines and so on and all the other short bolts go in the other three holes. Alright, now I'm going to get down to the bottom and take off the bottom clamp for the inner cooler boot and then get that out of the way. Get that over to the side. You're also going to have a uh, throttle linkage, a hard line. Go into the back of the pump, just take a pair of uh, body panel clips, pop that off. There it is. All right, now I got an air dog on my truck. So I just have the one fuel line coming up here. I just gotta squeeze these tabs and pop it off. Just like that. It's gonna leak a little bit of fuel, but that's fine. Just don't let any dirt get into your line. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is remove my fuel shut off cylinder one. It's held on with two eight millimeter bolts. My 
mine's kind of fell apart, but it still works. So I just got my spring and rod here hanging out. It's just held on with a cotter pin, pull that out, and it pops all off. Gonna remove our overflow valve here. That's a uh, three quarter inch. I got the aftermarket overflow valve that doesn't have the fitting on top. Go ahead and remove that. Next, you got your oil line, I'm pretty sure. Down here, it's a 15 millimeter. All right, and then you got two 10, 10 millimeter bolts that hold down the pump going down this way, and over here, they're horizontal bolts. They don't go in like this, they go in down like that. 